Now for the even more complex while example, we're going to refer back to our series that we had, which is the sum from k equals 1 to 1000 of 5 divided by k. Okay. Now again, what I'm going to do, instead of writing it, I'm actually just going to open up my example here, and we'll step through it. So here we've got a script to determine the finite value of a sum of series. Okay. Again, my name, we've got a variable dictionary, we've got the total, which is the final value, and k, which is our loop counter. So, so far, this is very similar to the for example. Okay. Again, we clear the, command, uh, the workspace to clear the command window. We set our total to be zero, so we initialize our variable sum as zero, and we also initialize our value for k to be one. Okay. And as we said, we want the first thousand values. So we can actually say, instead of running it for a thousand times, we can say, run it while k is less than or equal to a thousand. Okay, which will do the same thing. So it will iterate this set of commands while k is less than or equal to a thousand. When it becomes a thousand and one, k will stop. Uh, the, 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 sorry, the iteration will stop, the loop will stop. And then it will display the total down here. Okay, so you can see we've got our total equals total plus five over k. That's as we had in the for loop. And then k, we increment up automatically by one by setting k to be itself plus one. Okay, we then again do format long and we then display the total. So again, we should get the same result when we run this command as we could do with the for loop. And there it is, 37.427, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So line 1 to 13, again, standard, sorry, 1 to, 1 to 11 uh, is a standard um, uh, clearing commands. And we set our total to be zero. We initialize the value of the total um, in line 13. In line 14, we set we have to give our counter k uh, initial value, okay, of one, because that's being used in the in the in the loop, okay, and then we've set up our while loop, okay, which says will run while k is less than or equal to one thousand. In line 17, this is where we actually run our command, okay. We had uh, the, we set the value of total to be the previous value of total plus five over k. Okay, as for the for loop, the first iteration will be 0 plus 5 over k, or 5. Okay, the second iteration will be 5 plus 5 over 2. So it becomes 7.5, and so on. And so again, we have to iterate, uh, we have to increment up the value of k. Okay, so, so that it runs the number of times before k gets to 1,000 and 1. Okay, and then line 19 ends it. Ends it. We set MATLAB to, sh to show the full 15 digits of precision, and then we display the total. Now that you've seen both for and while loops being used to do the same things, you may be wondering, okay, well, which one should I use? In some cases, a for might be more suitable if you know how many iterations you require, uh, whereas a while loop might be more suitable for other problems, uh, particularly if you're unsure of how many iterations are required. Okay, The examples above are generally best suited for a for loop, However, the example questions in the worksheet might, should help illustrate um, the ver relative merits of each type, including some cases where the while loop is superior.